All right, so welcome to our next section in our lesson on expressions. And in this one, we're going to be covering looping. So how does looping actually work? Well, it's very simple. So I'm going to go over here and open up my expression by clicking Alt on the stopwatch right here. And then if I go over here to this arrow, I go up to this property right here. And then you will see that I have a few different loop options. And the one I'm going to pick is called loop out. This is a very common one. You'll probably end up memorizing it. So here we have the expression down here, loop out. And then we have this syntax right here. And we have things like cycle, and then it has the number of keyframes. But for right now, I'm just going to delete what is in this parentheses like this. And then I'm going to press enter on my number pad. And that brings me out of the expression box. Now notice that if I play it back, even though the keyframes are only up to here and it should stop, because of this looping expression, it is playing over and over again. All right, nice. But let's say we didn't want it to jump back to the beginning every time it looped. And we wanted it to bounce back and forth on the motion path like this. How could we actually do this? Well, it's very simple. All you do is open up your expression right here. And then you're going to go in your parentheses. And then you're going to write ping pong in quotation marks. Yep, and then you just click off or press enter on your number pad. And now notice if I play it back, it's gonna bounce back and forth on that motion path. So it's ping pong, like a ping pong table. So that's how the loop out works and that's how you can mess with the ping pong. And also with this motion path right here, so you only wanted it to ping backwards two keyframes. How could you do this? Well, it's very simple. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back up here. And if you remember, in the beginning with our syntax, the expression gave us a number. And if we write that number in, so I will press comma and then say two. And what this number means is that when it ping pongs back, it's only going to play back two keyframes. So if I play this through or drag it through to show you guys, let me bring up the motion path so that you can see. You see how it's only going backwards two keyframes. And I can play it right here. It plays through first and then it pings back only two keyframes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this expression right here and we're going to try a different expression. We are going to try another type of loop expression. So we're going to go up to property right here, and then we're going to select loop n. And this one here is basically the opposite of the loop out. So notice now that if I play it back, it's not going to loop. But if I drag these keyframes over in time, to say like 11 seconds, and then I play it through. Notice that now it is looping. And we'll make this one ping pong as well. So ping pong. Yep. And I play it back now. And notice what happens once it gets to the end of this. Notice that now it's stopped. So that's how the loop in works. Basically, everything before here is going to be looped. But once it gets to the end, it is not going to loop anymore and it's going to stop. All right, so that's just a little bit about looping. I hope that you learned something and that you will give it a try. And we will see you in the next tutorial. Until next time.